when you look at AWS versus VMware, where do you think this release, you know, kind of fits in? Uh, do they have any chance again? AWS or ADS has any chance in VMware? <laughs> AWS is without a doubt the the big the big player in in these conversations and questions. And there are you know there is an Outpost version coming that is that has VMware integrated into it, um, and VMware is in Amazon. However, I, I really do think that there are things that are operating in parallel here. Having a real strong Kubernetes capability built into VMware allows VMware to have some competitive positioning against the major cloud players and their Kubernetes offerings. Um, and that's a significant component. If you're trying to create a single way that you interact with Kubernetes, uh, being able to do it on-premises and cloud through a VMware uh, control plan is a very big deal. And so this is a place where I think that when we look at V7, that the hybriding capabilities or the multi-cloud capabilities, um, I, I haven't seen as much coming from that position yet, but it positions them for it. Just like we, we saw six in market for a long time and it was the foundation for things that they built. I expect seven to be the foundation for a lot of what they build going forward. Right now that Kubernetes is, is baked in, they can start building Kubernetes services in a much more deeply integrated way um, and pulling those into the vSphere control panel. So it, it really does create, you know, uh, I hate the phrase single pane of glass, but it, it is creating a single pane of glass for some of these platforms, um, which I don't want to underestimate the reconciliation for administrators to be able to go to a tool that they're used to using both for infrastructure administration through VMs and container administration through Kubernetes. Um, you know, those those shouldn't be separate control planes uh, for, for administrators. And that's, you know, I, I really feel like this is where VMware is going. 